Hello everyone, my name is Halo Run, and welcome back to Frostpunk. There's a couple of things I forgot to say in the last video, so we pause this here. Now, there's a reason why we put the Hunter's Lodge, the Cookery, and the Child's Shelter, or the Cookhouse, here near the ring, because of the heat. The heat generated off when you get this running, means these can keep warm. And as you can see, we're on day 9. Just after day 10, the temperature will drop one level. Very important to note. Because once it does, we're going to have a whole barrel of fun. Well, it shouldn't be too bad, but it might get pretty bad. Then we make sure we build our roads. And prepare for the extra people coming too. Oh, it must have. Yeah. And as for someone saying it was illogical, as per my reply, you never know why someone moved. A whole lot of people move, there must be a big reason why they're suffering for all this. Could be politics, could be overcrowding, sickness. Perhaps where they were was bad living conditions. Nobody knows. Now, let's get started. We need that farm up and going. That's the main thing. Yep, that's done. We also need the steel works, because we're going to need steel to get a bit better here and there. Hopefully they build all that in time, because we're bringing back a few people. Sorry, I can't address that. I don't have any way of feeding you, yet. As soon as we get new people going, then I can feed you. And you've got houses, so that's a start. Now, we need to send you to the gloomy cave. And the automaton, I think that's what it's called, the big robot thingy, that'll be here soon. Very handy. Now, let's build our food. Now, as I said before, it's very important where you place something, because I don't intend to move this. You generally want your farm as close to the main centre as possible. Because farms will not run if they're too cold. Therefore you won't be able to feed your people. I know people are dying right now because of the cold, but that'll be fixed soon enough. There we go. Um, you might find more people, I don't know. But just in case, let's chuck a couple more houses. Yeah, promises sometimes get broken. Not much we can do about it. Nobody's perfect. Not even me. And if I was, that'd be boring. start. Ooh. Using automatons. Our first automaton. Or automaton. 
is operational. This will help us or help our economy greatly. Automons, automatons can replace entire manual labor crews. They can work around the clock with short breaks to refuel at the generator. We can research upgrades to raise their efficiency and capacity. And will do. Means you could do the metal while they will do the coal near you. Um, we need to build a second tech. But for the moment, let's just build a second farm. Getting people fed is top priority. Also, the roads where people go can very well help them getting to medical tents and all those sorts of things. We have 10 so far. That's good. The next thing you want to do is do an upgrade. Yes, unfortunately you died of the frostbite, but there's nothing I can do about it. Yeah, I'll wait a few more seconds. Yeah. We want level 3. It's very important we have level 3. We're getting a bit of coal too. Getting close to you. Yeah. We hear... No, we can hear terrified shrieks coming from a cave uphill. When we come closer, several polar bears turn towards us, blocking the entrance. There are people trapped inside, and those beasts are picking them off one by one. And feasting on them. Let's attack! Ooh, we survived! There's a chance I could have lost me, um, crew there. It's all random. But it's a chance. Good, good, good. That's good luck. Oh, it's too cold. See what I mean? Too cold and these things won't function. But we'll warm up soon enough anyway, so it won't matter too much. Now the first things we need to do is resources. So we need two steel works. Put a road here, and a road all the way down here. And since we've got more people coming, better make sure I accommodate for them. Accommodation is very important. Oh yeah, we should build a second tech too. Uh, workshop, I mean. It adds 30% to your research, meaning you get things done just slightly ever so faster. Yes, do the other one. Actually, yeah, nah. Or... I mean, those do need to be functional. Resource shortage. No, we are, but this is how things work. And until day 12, we're not going to have much food. Good. Let's go to the crash site. I didn't even have you. Wow.
Good, good, good. Now we can get to the good stuff. Gathering posts will be warmed by one level. Hmm. But what do I actually want? Seventy steel per standard workday. Um, no. We do need an outpost. This is very important. When you get to certain points, you'll get outpost recommendations. Oh well, fair enough. Take what you got and warm up. We're getting just a bit of food. Resources. There are plenty of priceless supplies in the records of our expedition. Searching among the crates, scattered in the snow behind the wrecks, we found the bodies. They are tangled together in a single frozen mass, as if these people were trying to find at least a bit of warmth just before they die. We could do nothing for them, not even bury them. That's how life works, unfortunately. Especially if you're going to make such a serious decision like coming down here. Now, as we got a bit of resources, we want to make sure we make a second gathering post. Because we need more coal. We really need more coal. And for you, we only need maybe what's this steel works yes 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 ah, but as long as we've got the automaton we should be fine the automaton yes 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 um, I know I know but we can't do much just yet priority must be getting everything in order Four hundred a day. Oof. Come on, heat up. Just that little bit of heat. Yes. And this is where we'll save. Now we're getting somewhere. As long as we get more coal than we are using per day, escort them. Because now that it's a bit warmer, everyone should get a little bit less sick. Actually, chuck it through an existing point. There we go. Now we can make outposts, which is very, very handy. And we're starting to get some good amounts of food too. 
So with that case in mind, we better make sure we get a resource post. Or a resource depot. try might be able to that'll only take seven hours to do and we got the steel now what we researched was what food it was it was that we got that up there Should be able to make that. Now we're going to need rations more than anything else. Must have just saved. That's fine. The work shift starts. Getting another cold freeze if we don't hurry this up. Good, good, good. need the heating first. How long will that take? That's six hours. Should be right. Now we need the tech and the heating. Heat as many people as possible. That should do. There we go. Yeah, got up. I uh, got to do that. Um, got to keep my promises. Good bit of hope. Now we got a bit of food, bit of wood. need just a bit more wood and well that takes a lot of resources Need as much coal as possible. And oh yeah, we need an outpost team to make outposts as quick as possible. Because when things start getting really cold, this will get really hard. And it's coming up. 
We're at day 14, so it'll be when it hits day 15, just a bit after. We're trying, lady. That's what I want, for it to use 10% less coal. And then I can focus on other adventures. We've got enough food, so that's good. Less than an hour. Perfect. Twice as much coal. Yeah, I don't like the sound of that. First things first, let's get the hot houses with some insulation. Because if that goes down, we're all buggered. Take resources. We'll have an answer soon. Not a great answer, but an answer. <sighs> Seeing as we're getting enough coal now. Good. Can lessen a few people. Whew. if that affects you too. No, it doesn't. Bummer. <coughs> it is what it is, I guess. But yeah, a few more automatons would be nice. Um... I think we're going to be running out of wood soon. Got to think about that. Um, once the hot houses get a level up, that'll be even better. Yeah, yeah I know. Can't do much just yet. It's hard, huh? Hmm. Yeah. Make an outpost so I can have as much coal as possible. Uh oh. Search for other cities. Man from Winterhome. We found an exhausted man at the edge of our city. He said that he came from Winterhome, a settlement located not far from here, and that he was the last alive. Winterhome is dead. Everyone 
dead. There is no hope for survival in this accursed wasteland. You're all doomed. You must escape. Those were his last words. So we're all alone. No. You've still got a life. Hope falls badly. Hmm. They're all dead. We should never have left Britain. Coming here was, was a fool's errand. We should go back. We must save ourselves and our children. We must go back. We must save ourselves. Hmm. I must give them purpose. They're all dead. How could we survive without any help? We have to go back to London. There is no hope for us here in this frozen desert. People start to gather as the news of the fate of Winter Home spreads through the city. Some of them want to drop everything and free. London panic is starting to set in. Hmm. Let's go order and discipline. Night watch. I could build two of those quickly. I don't want to build these things, but... I should have gone with hope and the religious side, but I didn't want to. We're getting a bit of steel. Calm down, we're not going to die. The Londoners, your people are divided. Some of them are so scared that they plan to leave the city for London in 15 days. They will try to convince the others to join them, preying on their discontent. Fear may lead people to desperate acts. Attain peace, give people hope and manage their discontent to guide the city safely through the looming social crisis. I will try. It's going to be a hard one. If these things get built quick enough, should be able to be fine, I think, maybe. Hope rises a little bit. We got the hot houses done. Good, 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 good. Now we get the bunk houses. Hope rises just a bit more. Now you can see why I held off doing laws. Because then, when I get this, I can raise hope even faster. And you want to make sure it as fast as possible so you don't. Um, have them all leaving. It's not the greatest system I do detest, but something's better than nothing. That's just enough to keep it going. That's comfortable. Prevents falling ill. Good, good, good. Yep, build an outpost. Ooh. 800 coal every day. Good. That means I'll need to prepare for that. Um, resources, reports, depot. They're not too far off from getting that ready. Oof. Sir, the people want to leave for London, have successfully urged their friends and neighbours to join them. 
people are more easily pursued because they have little hope in our ultimate survival. I noticed. And now the generator is dying down. That won't do. The work shift starts. Explore. May they rest in peace. 150 wood. Nah, we don't really need wood. That coal will last us a bit. Now we got this. Let's see. Hunting tactics will do good. We also need to make sure we build a few more houses. Ones that are the coldest. Wonder how quickly they'll build them. Sir, a child climbed the generator, slipped and fell, but was thankfully caught by the neighborhood watch. Ah. Oh. Nearly cracked his head open. That's no good. Yeah, but if we can get the heat up a bit, it'll be right. Just need to warm them up a bit. Come on, come on, build, build. End of shift. Go rest all camp. We don't hurry, you're gonna have no rest. There we go. And what I said would work. Explore. Take resources. Read journal. The man we've seen from afar was nowhere to be found. Searching his burrow we found a diary of a scientist who fled winter home after the starving city fellow into chaos. Its leader, an army captain, appointed himself an absolute ruler. He tried to impose order using force. Plenty of people disgruntled it, deserted the city, and most of the others rebelled against him. I can understand, I'd do the same thing. Now, make sure we have enough for the coal. public house, most important. For a bit of hope. Hmm. Sometimes the code change, ugh. sometimes the cone changes and sometimes it doesn't. It's really annoying. But if I can get this built quickly, it'll be good. Yeah, that's fine. Once I build this, it'll be alright. There we go. A bit of hope. Good, good, good. Do 
medical posts. We need more healing and faster healing is most important. We've got another coal spell coming in, so we better hurry this up. But at least we've got a ton of coal and the resources coming through. That's very useful. What do we got? What do we got? Escort the survivors to the city. Yes, yes, yes. Oh yeah, that reminds me, we need a, um, another school for children. There we go. Add a bit more of the roads to make things a bit easy to get around to. That's what we want to see. An infirmary. Would be handy. Um, I think the only one I can afford is sawmill. Oh well. That's perfectly fine. Time to rest, folks. Works out today. I have to try, um... I can turn this off later. But let's try that. Looks like it won't double over. Puzzle, puzzle, puzzle. Oops. Pause for a second. And we're back. Sorry about that. Just had to make sure I wasn't going too long. Time restraints and all don't really help much in life. Yeah. Hmm. Needs ten workers. Yeah. I suppose we'll get the workers when they come down here. Sources. Hmm. Try that one. We do need a bit of heaters. 
And with all this coal we're getting, it should work, hopefully. Good, good, good. Now we can heat you up. Heat you up. And heat you up. And a bit of heat for you too. So it's absolutely not freezing. Well, there's a little bit of heat for you, I think, too. No, it doesn't want to. That's fine. Hope's not going up as fast as I'd like. So if I don't do anything, it goes down regardless. Well, that's a bummer. Let's go to the abandoned camp. Because it'll be much quicker to get that done. Um, since we got a few people too, let's see if we can... We can. Current limit one. Ooh. Well, that's a bummer. But ah, uh, well, I guess what it is, what it is. And we don't need another one of you, so you're getting shut down. Ew. Wow. I thought I did. Well, that is a bummer. I don't think there's anything I can do to increase... Good, good, good. Um, where is it, Scouts? The beacon. There we are. What are you waiting for? We need to find some food, but that's the main goal at the moment. We got enough coal. We just need food.
I thought they were heated. Well, that's no good. Um, well, that's a bummer. Hope's going up slowly. Um, Book of Laws. What can I do to change them? Try this and see if it works. If hope falls all the way, that'll be no good. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. A lot more hope. Phew. I can bet your backside I do. Take resources. Temporary settlement. Hmm. Good, good, good. Both take nine hours. Eh. I wonder if they'll do it. Eh, in time. That's the question. I'm glad to hear that. Perhaps these poor guards will get a bit more hope. Those poor buggers out in the cold. Walled colony. Interesting. Did I put another child school? Yes, yes, I did.
Well, you're useless. Um... Need to build another resource center. No, get depot. Brace yourselves. Bolt is coming. That's no good. Should be fine. We still got it all functioning, just barely. Oh. That's nasty. We don't need you no more. We'll construct a proper one. Here we go. Amputees. People may become amputees as a result of a serious frostbite, work accidents, or other misshapings, or become greatly ill. And being served by radical treatments, the amputees can't work but will still need to be housed and fed later in the game. You can research upgrades, we'll find you solutions to this problem. We definitely will. That's fine, we need a bit more hope. Explore. Escort them to the cities, because we do need more people. Um. Anyways. That'll have to do it for this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And perhaps you may want to see more. Leave us a like and perhaps subscribe. Anyways, catch you in the next video. Bye bye.